And the sad truth is many times when that voice of comparison is speaking to me, it's usually me comparing myself to someone who's white, someone who's had a whole lot more privilege than I have had, who've had a different background. And it's not fair to myself to compare myself to that while neglecting my own strengths. My worth is not defined by what I do or my achievements. I'm worthy just because of who I am, just my essence. That's enough. That is enough. And I think this thinking of not being enough, it, it didn't just start with me, right? There's so much intergenerational trauma that has happened, especially being a Black woman in the United States, where there's so many stereotypes that are put on us and we feel like we have to be this. We have to be that strong Black woman. Or if we're too loud or make our voice heard too much, we're a bit aggressive or angry. And I'm like, screw that. I'm just going to be myself, whatever that might be. If I want to talk a lot, if I don't want to talk a lot, if I want to show up and take up a lot of space, or if I don't want to show up and take up a lot of space, it's okay. And I think it's now, to, now is the time to change that narrative of not being enough and then comparing myself to others who have had way more privilege and have had that head start that I did not have.